Man, seriously, just check this out. How incredible is this place? I am remote as shit, 200 kilometers from any other civilization in the vast, beautiful, rugged Flinders Ranges, one of the most beautiful locations in South Australia. And this is what I am calling home for the next two months. I'm a lucky man, you are lucky viewers because I wanna bring you the beauty, ruggedness, and epicness of this incredible place. You are going to enjoy this series. Let's get into it. G'day you beautiful people and welcome to a beautiful, special place that is so close to my heart in the northern part of South Australia and the most northern part of the Flinders Ranges, Arkarula Village, this incredible landscape, this beautiful, arid, isolated place is the reason my Inns National Park series come to a dramatic halt. I am living and working here for the next two months and I've got bigger plans which I want to explain at the end of this video. But this place, for you photographers, the best way I can describe this is you cannot walk out the door unless you've got every single focal range in your camera bag. I come up to this beautiful lookout looking over Arkarola Village and into the northern part of the Flinders Ranges called Griselda Lookout. On to my left there, we've got a yellow-footed rock wallaby, three of them now, perched perfectly on the rocks. If I didn't bring my 70 to 300, I wouldn't have captured this beautiful, special moment. It is so calm, so peaceful, and setting up to be a beautiful landscape image. There's wildlife. There is something everywhere for this beautiful place. And there's a very special reason why I'm here, and I'll get to that at the end of this video. But for right now, we've got a beautiful, hopefully panoramic setup to showcase the start of this Arkarola Village series to really, truly show you how beautiful and special this place is. If I can just show you 10% of what I'm feeling about this arid landscape, that is my mission achieved. This is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm all set up in vertical, 35 millimeters, and the idea is to shoot a three or five stitch panoramic. There's two main goals behind this, an image that I can remember about this beautiful, beautiful location and the experiences that I've got in this location. And secondly, I'd love to give it to the owners and put it in one of the rooms here as a beautiful, beautiful image. Now, I have validation when I say this. Clouds in Arcarola is a rare commodity. It happens about 20 to 25 days of the year that is correct, of the year that you're getting clouds in this area. Now there is validation behind that because this is actually one of the worlds and also it is the best place in the Southern Hemisphere to witness the night sky. The reason behind that is, is you've got the elevation gain to get over the haze. Now trust me, when I say this, we are going to do some epic night sky photography and not with this camera, not with that camera, I've got something very, very special planned. So make sure to drop below and subscribe for that because you do not want to miss that. But right now I am shooting in a three bracket exposure. Now for my center 
composition, you always know that I exposed correctly for that center composition and then shoot around that. Now, I'm not shooting at minus one, zero, plus one. I'm shooting at zero, plus one, plus two because we have extreme highlights. Zero is good for the beautiful sky, then everything underneath that needs to be brightened up a lot. The concept that I'm going for is that beautiful sunset and when the village lights turn on, there are hardly any village lights turn on because of that light pollution. They're trying to eliminate as much as possible. I'm gonna blend that in with this image. It's got a really unique image of this beautiful but very small village in Akarula. That is the concept. Now I'm just gonna wait, spend some time with the yellow-footed rock wallabies and capture this incredible image. Yeah, so conditions just got better and better and better. And hopefully the image just turns out better and better and better. Here it is, enjoy. What an epic way to start this series. I am so pumped to be in this location. What I'm doing is working 45 hours a week over six days cleaning shitters, making beds, paying the wage, earning some money to progress my photography career forward. 10 to 12 hours at night doing some night sky, my first introduction to deep sky photography. And later in this series, you are hearing this correct, we, we get access to a quarter of a million dollar setup to photograph the nebulas, the galaxies, and we get it all to ourselves. I am so pumped about that. On my time off, we can go and photograph, we can explore, we can see the wildlife. Over to that gorge just there, there's running water, there's animals, there's thousands of budgies. That way, there's 1,500 metre bloody old rocks that are like 550 million years. Over this way is from flat plains. And then you've got all the Gammon range and everything else to bloody explore. This place is out of this world. If you love remote areas, vast landscapes, landscape photography, seeing wildlife and going to places that are very untouched and not photographed heavily, make sure to drop below and subscribe because you are going to love this series. It's going to be an absolute belter, mate. I can promise that. What I'm trying to say is there's a shit ton more to come on this channel and I am so pumped about it. Tonight has been a great introduction for you guys and the crazy thing is this isn't even that good compared to the rest of it. Drop below and subscribe. Get out there, keep creating, keep inspiring people, go to places that you feel at home, you feel alive, and that you love to be surrounded by. That's where I am, and I hope to bring you guys that passion and enthusiasm, because she is gonna be a builder, but guys, make sure to get out there, photograph, be happy. I'll see you on the next one, because I can guarantee it will be good. I'll catch you then. Ciao.